This week I'm taking on the SNAP challenge, raising awareness around just how much money is allocated to someone on food stamps, and I'm learning how difficult the challenge can be. To help me think of some more interesting recipes, I stopped by celebrity chef Emma Frisch's kitchen with the president of the Food Bank of the Southern Tier. She showed us how to get more for our $4. Oh, it's Joey on Y. Come on in, I haven't seen you guys in a while. We're gonna do a hunger action recipe now. And Natasha from the Food Bank of the Southern Tier is coming over to cook with me. Come in. You might remember Emma Frisch from this season's Food Network star. But now she's taking on a different kind of challenge. The SNAP Challenge. So today I have Natasha Thompson here, the president of the Food Bank of the Southern Tier, and we're going to teach you how to make Tuscan white beans with kale as part of the SNAP Challenge. Emma's helping Natasha find a quick, easy, and creative meal on a budget, a budget many in the Southern Tier are forced to stick to. It's basically when people can um, challenge themselves to live on the average food stamp allocation, uh, which is about $4.50 per day. Together, they're raising awareness around the challenges some 80,000 people in the Southern Tier face every day. We're going to start out by preparing the beans. Can you help me out? Sure. Okay, great. While sharing her so, recipe, Emma shares that she understands the struggle of eating on a budget. When she was born, her mom and dad just recently immigrated to the U.S., and it wasn't easy at first. She says it was her mother that taught her how to power the pantry with bargain basics. Yeah, bang out every last bean. We want to get our money's worth. That's right. All Next oil up, here. oil, and garlic, and, and rosemary. One of the tips that I love is if you buy a rosemary plant at the beginning of the summer and just put it on your windowsill and let it grow, you'll have rosemary. You don't have to buy it. This is inspired by my mom, who's Italian, and whenever Italians don't have anything to eat at home, their go-to is garlic and olive oil and Perfect. anything else you have. So we're going to pop it in the oven. Then it's on to the kale. Here's a little tip for taking the kale off the stems. You want to hold it by, by the bottom of the stem and just strip the leaves up like that. Emma preps the pan with garlic and olive oil. The key to olive oil is slow and low. So you always want to heat it up over low heat and slowly. You don't want to rush it. The once the garlic browns, you add the onions. And once that looks, that looks translucent, yeah, you add the kale. This is great because I'm going to be making this recipe as part of my snap challenge probably on Thursday. So I'm awesome. excited to kind of get the sneak preview and have yeah. an opportunity to practice. That's great. Well, you yeah. have to let me know how it goes. Absolutely. And you're going to have leftovers because this makes enough for about four to six people. Fifteen minutes later, the beans are ready. They're hot. They've got a little bit of caramelization to them. The rosemary and garlic is all infused in there. <laughs> Toss it with the greens and voila. Tuscan white beans with kale made especially for the snap challenge right in the Frisch kitchen. Really great. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Reporting for Hunger Action Month in Ithaca, Kelly Meyer, WENY News.